Hello and welcome. In this series of videos by Dr. Nora, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know as a first time mum. As a first time mum, I had a million and one questions and I went on YouTube and the internet and I just simply couldn't find the answers that I was looking for. So I'm hoping that in this series of episodes, I'm going to be giving you guys everything you need to know from topics such as breastfeeding and how to store breast milk if you're expressing and also looking at newborn essentials plus all of those developmental toys that you guys are just dying to know about. So stay tuned and enjoy the episodes. First up, let's talk about how to store breast milk. Now, it might be that you're working, you return back to work and you still want to breastfeed your child, but you just don't know how to go about that. Well, I'll drop a link in the description below for another video that tells you which pump that I use when I am breastfeeding at work. But now you finish pumping, what do you do with that breast milk? Now, this is such an important question and there is lots of information online and I thought I'd just be nice and succinct and tell you guys what exactly I do and what you should be doing as well in different case scenarios. So, Say for example, you're at work and you don't have your baby close by and you need to pump your baby, what would you do? So you would get your breast pump out and you would pump for say 10 to 15 minutes, which is the usual amount of time. And you want to store that breast milk somewhere nice and safe and sterile. For me personally, I tried a number of different bags for breast milk storage and I found that the one that I quite like is the ones by Lantino. Now these, if you're living in Australia, you can only get them online and I'll leave a description below for how you can get these from other proprietary sources. The reason why I like these bags is because they have a number of things. So one, they are pre-sterilized, so you can just pump directly into them. You don't need to sterilize it in advance. It's pre-sterilized, which actually you'll find a lot of bags are already pre-sterilized. However, they are BPS and BPA free, which is also a plus for me. And they also have a double lock at the top. So that means there's two zip locks at the top, which you can really make sure that you've not lost any milk whatsoever. What I also find quite nice about these bags is the texture of how they feel. Now, this might feel quite pedantic to you or quite odd or superficial even, but truly I've tried another bag by Philips, which is called the Aventi bag, and it just felt so plasticky. It just didn't feel quite right. And the ones by Lantano feel a lot softer. They're, they're more malleable as well. So when you are storing your breast milk, it just feels a lot nicer. Moreover than that, I found that the gradients on the bag, which is actually really important, the gradients on the bag of the Lantano bags actually appear to be more accurate than, say, its counterparts. And this is super important when you are expressing because you kind of want to know how much you've expressed. And if you don't have an accurate way of looking at this, um, then obviously you have to take a good guesstimate. Now, with any breast pumping machine, they do give you an approximation of how much you pumped. But I have found that the ones when I've measured it in a glass cup, say, and then I pour it into my Lantano bags, I found that the Lantano bags usually correspond to quite nicely with the amount I've actually poured in. So that for me is a real plus because when I'm using those bags later in future, I need to know how much I'm expressing and how much I'm giving to my baby. So now that you've pumped that milk, what are you going to do with that milk? Are you going to use it now? Are you going to use it later? Or are you going to use it in months to come? So all you do is you rip off the top of like so. These are pre-sterilized, you don't need to sterilize them at all. Just open up. And then all I do always, what I do as a good measure is I just pull back these parts here because sometimes if you just open it like this and put the milk in, the milk gets stuck on these flaps here and it feels a bit dirty. And then I also just run my finger down the middle just to give it a bit of air because I've had experiences where it's just overflowed because it hasn't, you know, it's just so vacuum sealed. So once you've done that, then you're ready to pour in your milk. And just very carefully pour the milk in. I also like these bags because the gradients are really simple to read. If you just take a look, you can see here the different gradients. And there have been other bags where the gradients are just like pretty much non-existent or they're so inaccurate. Obviously, they're all not 100% accurate, but this one is the most accurate, I'd say. So right now, as you can see, it says about 90, over 90 mils, about 95, 100 mils. I know that I've only expressed 80. So the trick and what's kind of taken me a while to learn this is you have to open the bag fully from the bottom. If you don't have the privilege of seeing how much you've actually done. Um, so this is really useful if, for example, you're expressing and you don't know how much you're expressing. And you don't have these bottles with you. You've just got a rough guidance, as I have in the past. Make sure you pull the bag open from the bottom and let all of the milk sit in it. And then you will see then that it tends to be a little bit more accurate. So you can see here, it's just floating around the 90. And if I just open it a bit more, it's going to go down to below 90. So it's just sitting around 90. So that's like 10 mils out. Whereas previously in previous bags, I've had like 100 mils out and it's just been ridiculous. So you don't ever want to store your milk with lots of air inside it. You really need to squeeze out the air. So the best way that I do this is make a little tip with my fingers and pull up the air to the top. 
like so. Pushing the air out to contain that vacuum seal. Because if you store milk with air in it, it does expand further and then you can have a bit of a leakage in your freezer. So then close it up and that's it. You've got your stored milk ready to go. So important to label it. So with a Sharpie pen or with a pen that doesn't um, rub off, I put the volume so I know later on. And I put the date as well, because remember that milk should be used within six months. And the date is and the next thing to do is to store it in your freezer nice and flat. If you do store them up like this, you can end up with lots of bags like this, and it just becomes a bit of a storage nightmare. So make them flat, and once it's frozen over, then you can put it upright. Of course, if you want to use this milk during the daytime, you don't want to freeze it, you can just keep it in the fridge. But that is how I store my breast milk. So the CDC has got some really useful information online about how you should store your breast milk. If you have freshly expressed your milk, you can keep it on the countertop for up to four hours. That means at room temperature for four hours before after that point in time, you'll need to dispose of it because it's no longer useful. So this is useful, for example, if you've just expressed and you want to feed your baby, say in two or three hours time, you can use that milk provided you've kept it at a, on a countertop at room temperature. If you want to prolong the amount of time you've got through that freshly expressed milk, you can keep it in the fridge for up to four days. So that is a huge amount of time. So four hours versus four days. So you're better off keeping it in the fridge if you want to use it for a little bit longer. Now, of course, this does add in the situation where you might have to now heat up your milk, but certainly if you want to use it for a bit longer than four hours, just put it in the fridge towards the back of the fridge so that when the doors are open regularly, the milk isn't getting cooler and going off. If you don't want to use your milk straight away and you don't want to use it within four hours, then you can just pop it in the freezer straight away and you can use this for up to six months. And what I do to make sure that I'm using the old milk first is that I put labels, I write labels on my bags and I put the date and how much volume there is and I put the oldest milk towards the front and I go backwards chronologically and if I am using that milk I take it from the front of the pile and go and work my way backwards so that I make sure that no milk is getting left unused. That's an indication of how long you can store the freshly expressed milk for. But what happens, say, for example, if your baby has, you've expressed the milk for the baby and there's a little bit left in the bottle, they've used it straight away, but there's a little bit left over. What do you do with that milk and what's the rules around that? Well, you can use that milk within two hours after your baby has finished feeding. So say, for example, my baby had 200 mils and they had 100 mils left over. Provided I use that within the next two hours, it's safe for them to continue. Great, so now I know about storing the milk, what about when we want to defrost that milk? So for this, I'm going to take you through some of the CDC guidelines of how to thaw the milk and when to use it. So for people that are thawing the breast milk, this could be that you're putting it into a bowl of warm water, never hot, when it's nice and thawed. You can keep it on the countertop in a thawed condition for up to one to two hours. If you're taking it out of the freezer and it's now thawed, you can actually keep it in the fridge for 24 hours. But once you have thawed your milk, you must never refreeze it again. So you've got to discard it. If you're not going to use it in that time, you must just chuck it away. But the best way to get rid of milk that you haven't used is to put it into your baby's bath because breast milk is full of good nutrients and it can help just with lots of things, keeps their skin nice and soft and it can also help with skin irritations and so on. So there you have it. There is a quick video on how to store breast milk once you've expressed it and join me for my next one where I'll be showing you how to use the breast milk once it's been thawed and how to heat it ready for your baby to consume. I hope you guys found that video useful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.